Hello everyone and welcome to A Studios. Today I will be talking about how I conceptualize tattoo designs. Not only that I want, or just designs in itself. Say you're an artist like me and you like drawing these kind of designs. This might help you for that. Or if you want to choose your own tattoo and design your own tattoo. Or just give your artist a few pointers, a few references of what you want your tattoo to look like. This is the video for you. So, as you guys know from previous video, I am working on a floral sleeve on my right arm. So far I have two tattoos and neither of them are actually designed by me, but using references that I've looked up has helped my artist uh, view and design something that I really want to put on my body. So first, I am looking at floral tattoos on Google. And if you want to see a design or try and find something that you really like, looking up the kind of tattoo that you want on Google is a really good place to start. So obviously I want floral designs and so I'm just looking through these floral colors and if you see something you like you can click on it. This looks really cool but it's also really this is a back piece, so it would be something for the back. So if I wanted to narrow down, I would hit arm. So it would be floral tattoos that go on arms. And if you want to even um, put it down more and make it more specific, say you want roses. And it'll go roses on an arm and obviously floral tattoo. Now you can be even more specific and you could say traditional. And it gives you traditional roses. Now some of these are on hands or on backs, but that's okay because you can still see, oh, this is what a traditional rose looks like. Now I prefer neo-traditional because it has more details to it. And you can see they're kind of the same as traditional, but they're also shaded a little bit differently. The color's different. I talk about that in my tattoo styles video, which you should totally go check out. So just looking at these things, you can kind of see like, hey, if you like this, you might show this picture to your artist and be like, hey, this is kind of something that I would like to have. And depending on where you have it on your body, if you want it in color, what style you want it in is what kind of references you might get for your tattoo. So here I decided that I wanted to do hydrangeas because I already have roses. Roses are pretty popular. I have uh, peonies on my shoulder now. So I wanted to do something different. And I thought these bundles of flowers look really cool. And it was kind of the first flower that popped into my mind, honestly. But I don't think it really matters because I found a few references that I do like. I noticed that a lot of them have three or four leaves attached to the bunch of flowers. And all of the flowers have four petals and a kind of a center point with lines coming out. Even when they're in color, if you see down here on this one, they still have lines popping out of the middle, the middle is yellow, you know. So they're all similar in a ways, but then again, they're all different. And using these similarities and differences is what will help you design your tattoo. I thought for these, this kind of uh, design, I wanted to go with a smaller tattoo, maybe like a palm size or maybe a little bit bigger because I wanted it not to take up a lot of my arm because I want a lot of different types of flowers on my arm. So I chose these smaller bunches. Of course, hydrangeas grow a lot bigger than these. And you know, with a few leaves to make it look natural and to flow with the rest of the sleep. So I'm gonna start sketching out a few thumbnail concepts so that I can, using these references, so that I can start finalizing a bit of a design.
Now, if I wanted to, which I don't really want to, I could line this and make it look more like this, because I can tell by looking at all of these different uh, reference pictures that I took, the way I drew the flowers in the hydrangea aren't exactly perfect. It doesn't, it, it looks like a hydrangea, but it doesn't have the interest of the layers and the petals not being quite perfect. Now there's some of that on the edge, but it's not throughout the whole entire piece, which I'd like it to be. And if I wanted this exact design, and if you're an artist, you could probably do this. If you want this exact design to be on your body, you can go ahead and line this. I'm not going to because this isn't what I want on my body. I would like something like this, and I would like the artists that I choose to be able to take their artistic liberties and make a design for me. Now, maybe when I'm an artist myself, I'll take the liberty to design my own tattoos that will be going on my body, but as I am not, I'm gonna stop this here. So I'm going to move on to what I'm saying is the second part of this. And for this part, in this second section of the video, I will be showing you how to take a simple design or concept or symbol of some sort and making it into something original. Right now I have Rams pulled up because I was looking at Aries themed tattoos because I am an Aries and I always kind of wanted something like this, like a Ram chest piece just, you know, because I do want to get a chest piece of something that represents me and although this isn't, you know, the airy symbol super huge on my chest in just black, it still represents that I'm an Aries and that's something that's important to who I am. Now when you're doing something as simple as maybe a zodiac tattoo, you can want the simple design. You can want the this thing. You can want this, you can want the Taurus, you can want the Gemini, you can want whatever you want. Or, you can take a few different concepts that you do like and make them into something that represents Aries or your Gemini symbol, your Gemini symbol, your Zodiac symbol, and make it into something that you really want to put and keep on your body. Even just looking through these Google images, I find a, a bunch of cool examples of what you might want to get. Of course, you can always get the name of it. And if you like this, you might want to take this and like we did in the last part of the video, copy it and put it into your little mood board, lookbook, whatever. You know, having flowers by it, having half of it be the ramp. Or even doing something completely out of the tribal looking just black and doing a ram that looks really cool. Now maybe you don't want to go this big and maybe you just want to have the little stars, the constellation on your arm or on your ankle or whatever. And that's totally okay. Just make sure that you get a few pictures. I recommend like four or five pictures of tattoos that you do like. So even if they're mostly the same, that just solidifies to your artist Hey, I want this. Now when it comes to symbols, usually you can just walk in and get someone random, someone in the shop that's not working at the moment, to do a walk-in tattoo if it's just something black like this, or if it's like the stars or the constellations or something like that. But if you do want to make a symbol seem more original, you'll definitely want to get a few different looking, but still stuff that you like, designs and ideas so that they can create a design that you will really like and you will really want to have on your body. Now I'm gonna get past the Zodiac stuff and go to Deathly Hollows because I was looking through this earlier and I just really absolutely love the way that this symbol, this tiny little symbol here, so many people have just the symbol. But look at all of these, as I scroll through here, look at all of the different ways people have interpreted this symbol and made it different. 
Not only have some people used color in the background and maybe varying line widths to make the piece itself more interesting, but they have put additional things surrounding it, maybe made the tattoo look like the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Invisibility Cloak. I find some of these designs really appealing and really interesting. And it's all from the same symbol. So if you tend to like watercolor looking tattoos and you really like Harry Potter, I mean, this is probably something that you'll find interesting. If you like black work, maybe this is something that you find more appealing to you. If you want roses or traditional with it, if you want to incorporate it with other things, that's always something that you can do. As a person who wants to get a tattoo or as the artist who is maybe drawing some concepts for your tattoo, you want to know what you want and you want to be able to envision what exactly you want. And the difference is how you can make your tattoo different from other people's. Like this. This is a watercolor tattoo. This is a watercolor tattoo. This is a watercolor tattoo. This is a watercolor tattoo, and it didn't open. This is a watercolor tattoo. They all have the same symbol, but in each way, they're different. So maybe you don't want the rainbow, but maybe you want your favorite color in the background. Maybe you don't like the swirls and you just want the whole thing like dotted with a certain color. And you can do whatever you want. Bring your artist some cool ideas that you like and that'll really help them make a great design for you. And even though you might not want to draw up a design that might be as simple as this, of course you can and use the same method that I used in the beginning of the video to design the flower. Take a few references of stuff that you like and then use those references to sketch out something of a design that you really, really like. And of course it can be similar, but it's gonna be different because you drew it. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below what other types of videos you would like to see. Also, I started a Patreon and I opened some Redbubble and put some new Redbubble stuff on my Redbubble store. New Redbubble stuff on Redbubble store. I'm great at words. I put some new stickers and posters and stuff on my Redbubble shop, so you should totally go check it out. Follow me on Instagram, which is linked in the description. Go check out all of that. It's all linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.